2018 Kia Stinger GT First Drive Review, Sleeper of the Year. Mojave, California. The sun-baked sign at the Hyundai, Kia Proving Grounds clearly indicates the speed limit on the banked oval, 120 miles per hour. But after a few perfunctory triple-digit parade laps, the Kia representative in the passenger seat isn't having any of it. With a wink and nudge, he discreetly permits us a few extra, unrestricted goes around the big course. Never one to turn down track time, we push the 2018 Kia Stinger down the 6.4 mile oval until I see an indicated 164 miles per hour on the straight, the fastest we've ever driven anything built in Korea let alone many of the contenders in the Stinger's crosshairs. Game on, Kia! The early days of Kia's attempt to conquer the American car market were dominated with an appliance-like sense of economy, one reflecting a scrappy catch-up mentality opposed to the disruptive, luxury-challenging tactics du jour. Subsequent attempts to globalize the brand have taken on a definitively more inspired, international flair and the new Stinger is the strongest harbinger of that direction to date. The movement originated when Hyundai, Kia plucked design boss Peter Schreier from Audi, eventually moving him up in an unprecedented promotion to one of manufacturer's three group presidents. Not only did Schreier inject a sleek, contemporary look to the lineup, his promotion proved the brand was dead serious about creating striking designs. The Stinger's styling does not disappoint. Apart from the familiar tiger nose grille and the letdown of non-functional, e, ornamental, hood vents, the five-seater's proportions and surface treatments feel sharp and fresh, purposeful and clean. Measured from bow to stern, the Stinger is roughly mid-class among its competitive set, while offering the practicality of a sportback design that enables decent trail legroom and 23.3 cubic feet of cargo capacity. But its considerable 114.4-inch wheelbase is among the lengthiest in its class, etched out only by the Audi A7, Porsche Panamera, and BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe. That said, the upper end of Kia's self-ascribed competition might be a bit of a stretch. Sorry, pun intended, considering the unlikelihood of Porsche diehards cross-shopping the $85,000 Panama against this new kid on the block. The other side of Kia's modern story involves the snagging of performance whisperer Albert Behrman from BMW's M Performance division. Behrman was tasked with, in his words, making the cars drive as good as they look, which led to the Stinger's driver-focused intentions. Sharing a similar chassis and suspension architecture to the Genesis G70 and G80, and slotting in between, size-wise, Stinger's handling was tightened toward sharper performance. Some 6,000 miles were spent fine-tuning the chassis and suspension at the Nürburgring, as well as nearly a million miles racked up around the world. But the chassis tuning also involved location-specific processes like shutting down portions of bumpy LA freeways in order to analyze surface textures and replicate them at the 2 million square foot vehicle dynamics track in Mojave, a costly but necessary step towards ensuring adaptability to real-world conditions.